friend. It's so good to see you again. There's no one like you. You can do anything you put your mind to. Just the thing you thought you should know. Are you ready? Because here we go. It's What is going on, guys? Happy, what is it today? Thursday. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Wonder Friends. Are you guys excited for today? You got any big plans today? As you start to come into the comments, tell me what you plan on doing today. What are you guys doing? You hanging out? You, uh, I don't know, go to set at home? Do homework? Schoolwork? All that cool stuff like that? Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing today. Today, I am working on illustrating a book. And I am also uh, talking about another story that I'm going to be writing. That's the big things that I have on my plans today. And one of the coolest things that I have today is I'm going to be talking to you guys. And that is what is really cool. And we're going to draw something really fun today. Real quick, guys, my name is Jason Tharp. I am the chief creative dreamer at Wonderville Studios. Um, that's just a cool job that basically means I get to make up stories and all that cool stuff like that. Today is the last day to enter in to win It's Okay to Be a Unicorn book. We are giving away 15 copies. Today is the last day to enter into that, so make sure you follow that link to enter in. Remember, you can always send me some questions, comments, or ideas at questions at Wonderville Studios. Ask your parents to help you out with that good stuff. And as always, you can find me in all those cool things like this. So guys, I wanna jump right in here with a question for you. Um, and oh yeah, don't forget, those PDFs, they're all there, download them, they're there for you. Tell mom, dad, say yo, I wanna go download those PDFs, download those PDFs, enjoy them, all that good stuff like that. I need you guys to help me share this page too. So make sure that afterwards you tell your friends about this page, tell them how much fun we have on it, all that good stuff like that. So just take two seconds, parents, share this. Uh, if your kid is getting some stuff out of this, just uh, take a second to share. I would really appreciate that. So as we are starting to come in here and everybody, all our friends are loading up and all that stuff like that, I want everybody to get their paper and markers ready. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we are going to draw a concept together of what would it be like if an elephant in an ice cream cone ran really hard at each other and hit each other and they combined forces. What would it look like? What do you think that it would also like smell like? Would it be good or bad? Uh, would it be the elephant on the front or the back side? Would the head of the ice cream cone? Like what would it look like? I have an idea and I thought we could do one together um, and you can make yours as cool or different than mine as you want, or you could do the same one as me. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get our paper ready, right? And we're gonna do our warm up doodle like we always do. And remember, this doodle has zero to do with it being something and more so being with what you can make from it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just gonna do a warm up and we are going to scribble. And I spin mine. You don't have to spin yours. You can if you want. I'm going to spin it again. All right, there we go. And we take a second and we look at it. And you look at yours and see if there's something in there that you can turn it into. Do you see something in yours that you can turn it into? Uh, again, remember, you don't have to wait for me on this one. This one, we start straight into just drawing something together. Um, what's up, Emily? Good to see you. And Yoshiko, what is happening? I'm really happy you guys are all tuning in. Check this out. So as we're just warming up here, I'm just going to put in a couple of little doodles in here. Then I'm starting to build something out of. Like, again, you guys just do your thing. We're working on just making something. The whole point of this is to see something there that you might not typically see. There are no right or wrong answers. What we're doing is we are just making something creative out of something that looked like at the beginning a mistake. So you're looking for something for what it can be, not for what it is. That's the magic of creativity. When you're being creative, it is like a special moment between you and the paper. Nobody has to tell you what is right or wrong. 
there is no right and wrong. You get to make up whatever it is that you want this to be for you. That's what makes it magical. That's what makes creativity pretty cool. Um, this was always stuff for me that when I was your age that helped me like calm down or help me feel grounded. All those different things like that was a great way to do it. So this is our warm up doodle. We're good. We're gonna pat ourselves on the back because you guys did it, right? And we should be all ready to figure out what would it be like if ugh, that elephant and the ice cream cone smacked together? What, what kind of creature would it create? What, and then also I want you guys to think about what kind of name we would give it to. You can throw that name in the comments as we're starting to work together on all that stuff like that. If you guys are just coming in, what we're going to need today is some paper and some markers. We're going to work on the elephant ice cream creature together. Let me say hi to some friends out there. We got Porter and Harper in the house. What's going on, guys? What's up, Kimberly? The kids say, hey, hey, guys, what's happening? David, what's happening, buddy? Mason, what's going on? Everybody out there, how are you guys all doing today? Is everybody holding up good? Uh, it looks like it's a typical Ohio day here where it looks nice outside, but is really cold. Um, so hopefully uh, it's supposed to get warmer, so I'm hoping it gets warmer. Let me know what you guys are up to today. Put it in the comments there. Say some stuff. Let's hear what people are up to. So guys, what would an elephant and an ice cream cone have to do with each other to begin with? As far as I know, elephants don't eat ice cream, but maybe in this situation, they're going to. So let's figure out how we're going to do it. I think the way that I'm going to do I'm going to do my paper sideways today. Um, and you can definitely do it any sort of way that you want to do it. And I'm going to use that scoop of ice cream as kind of the head of this elephant. So what we're going to do is we are going to draw... Just an upside down U, just like that. And we're just going to put some little rings like this, okay? But don't go all the way yet. I want you to stop about three. So we leave this little space right here, okay? And in this space, what we're going to do is we're going to make that's a room for the trunk to go in. And how we're going to do that is it's a squiggly line, just like this, right? And I want you to draw another parallel line. Remember, a parallel line is a line that runs by another one. So we're going to do that one on this side. Okay. Now, right now, if we were to look at this, it kind of looks like a little bit of a frown, right, that our character could have. And we are going to make sure that he has a smile. And we're going to bring that up and around just like right there. And then you're going to put that little boop right there to give like the little corner of the mouth. And now I know right now it does not look like an ice cream cone. Uh, but hold on, just chill with me, <laughs> get it, chill with me, uh, and we will make it work. And we're going to put, at the end of this, a couple little bloopy lines just like that. That gives us that trunk, right? You guys see it now? Do you see that trunk? And then let's put some lines on this, which kind of helps give it that elephant type look. All right, now. What are some things about an elephant on their head that you guys can think of that are, let's say, what are, what are those things that hang off the side of their head called? Like, what do they look like? I think you guys have two of them on the side of your head, too. Are those, like, ears, maybe? Um, let's make some elephant ears, right? We can do those by just drawing some lines like that. And the same like that, elephant ears. Aren't those so good? Have you ever had an elephant ear at the fair? How good are those? I love elephant ears. And so then what we're going to do here also is we need to put some eyeballs on it. And I'm just going to do for eyeballs, I'm just going to use the number 11 right beside each other. Okay? So that's just two ones right beside each other as the number 11. And for some, I mean, sprinkles, right? Who doesn't like sprinkles on their ice cream? We gotta put a little bit of sprinkles on our elephant's face also, right? And then let's give it that, those little square eyebrows, right? So now we have this and we got the ears. We can totally put a couple little, you know, elephants have like, I don't know if you know, but if you've ever seen an elephant up close, they have these little hairs on their ears and stuff like that. You can put some little hairs on there 
and all that good stuff like that. Um, are, let's see, what else is there on an elephant? What do you think about when you think of an elephant? Um, I think of they have that big, huge body, right? Like they have a giant body. And way to do that would be, let's go right back here by the ears and let's put a big circle all around there, right? And now that we have our circle there, if we think about, if you, if you could imagine in your head, does an elephant's leg look like yours? Or does an elephant's leg look more like a box? I think it looks a little bit more like a box, don't you? And how we can do that is if we just draw two lines down and then we're gonna connect those across. And you could put little bumps. Because if you look at an elephant, they have these like toes, right? Toenails, and they're kind of like these little bumps just like this. And you're gonna do another one just like this. Now, because this is an elephant ice cream sandwich together, I think that it would make sense that one of its legs should be an ice cream cone, right? Now, I don't know about you, but that would be a very, very strong ice cream cone if it was gonna be able to handle all that weight of an elephant, right? And let's put a couple bumps on that as well. Now, questions for you. What kind of things do you like on your ice cream? Are there any kind of toppings that you like? Do you like like syrup, like chocolate syrup, or strawberry syrup, or something like that? I think I like all that stuff. So like if we were to do like a, some things like this, right? Kind of looks like it could be syrup. What about a cherry on top? Do you guys like cherries on top? Is this making you guys hungry? Like just drawing? It's kind of making me hungry. Let's put a cherry on top of our elephant too. And we can do that by just drawing a line, a circle, and put a line on it like for a stem, okay? Now, what is one thing that's missing on the elephant's booty? What does an elephant have back there that it swats birds and flies away with? Does it have like a big, a big tail, right? And this tail kind of comes out and it's got this little whipping kind of action to it at the end, right? That it's able to go through and hit those flies away and stuff like that. So we would have some of that there. And let's put some dots on our elephant just for some idea like textures and stuff. Now. If you look at your finger, when you look at your finger, do you see those little lines right here or your knuckle bends, right? And those things like that are like little bendy spots, right? An elephant has the same sort of bendy spots on its knees. So if you just draw two little bumps like this and a line in the middle, it is a great way to show those little bendy spots on the elephant as well. And let's put a ground line on this. And then let's put a couple of little, like it's in grass, right? So what do elephants eat? Do you guys ever see like uh, where elephants maybe eat peanuts, right? They eat peanuts, they eat grass, all that stuff like that. You could put those things around if you want. You can draw a peanut, which is like a shape, kind of like a beam a little bit. And you put some X's on it, right? You could put some tall grass around it so that you're, ice cream elephant can eat it um you guys think of any cool names for him so like ella ella cone ella scoopers scoopa scoopa duper i don't know there's gotta be some cool names out there for it right so i think this looks like we did a pretty good job of making an elephant ice cream cone come to life here and was we want to color it you can totally color it if you'd like with me and as we're coloring here together I want to talk to you guys a little bit about some stuff we got going on so feel free to color it any way that you would like to color it if you want this to be like chocolate syrup you can I'm gonna say that this is like for me like maybe like a, I don't know like a strawberry or a bubblegum syrup or something like that is bubblegum syrup an actual thing I don't know, maybe. And as we noticed before the other day, I figured out that if I put orange down and I put green on top of it, it becomes like a brown, right? Say the cone is that color. 
So as you guys start to color with it and yours starts to come to life, take a look at it. Think about what you'd like to name it. Conifant, I like that. That's a good name for it. Um, and we start to color. I want you to remind you guys of a couple things. So tomorrow is Friday. And on Friday, I got a gift for everybody. Free gift Friday. It's going to be a free download for everybody. Um, and that will be a really fun thing. Tomorrow, I want to talk about that. We're going to talk a little bit about all that good stuff like that. Next week, I want to make a kiwi bird puppet out of paper with you guys. I think that'll be a lot of fun. And I'm going to do a little bit more of a drawing thing at the beginning. So as you start to come in next week, you'll notice at the beginning, we're going to be doing a little bit of a game. And that game will be, I'm going to be drawing some stuff. And I want you guys to try to guess what it is I'm drawing. We're going to put those in the comments, the guesses and stuff like that. And turn this into like a little bit of a fun game that we can have together and have some fun with some of the time that we're spending together and see how good you guys are getting at guessing the drawings, right? And we'll play those games, stuff like that. So if you have any ideas or any, any questions or anything that you would like to see us do, make sure that you just uh, shoot me an email. Shoot me an email with any sort of ideas that you guys have up for listening to those all the time. So as you start to finish your drawing here, and I want you to start thinking about coloring it and putting all these fun colors and all this cool stuff that you would like to do for yours. Think about those things that you might like to see us do on this show, and we'll totally start integrating those in and start having some fun doing some other stuff. So I'll let you guys finish up your drawing of your Ella Cone, Ella Cones, Conifant, Elecone. I don't know. Figure out what you want to name it. Figure out what you want to name yours and put it in the comments with your picture so we can kind of see what everybody comes up with uh, as you wrap that up. So let me switch over here real quick for you guys. So, oh. All right, guys. So if there's any other drawings that you would like to do, Make sure you just go over to YouTube. You can find a ton of them. There are a bunch of different drawings that you can you can check out there. Uh, we are going to uh, we have a bunch of books that you can check out on Amazon, or better yet, help your local bookseller. They're all over the place in tomorrow's supplies. We're just going to stick with markers and paper. Tomorrow, all I need you to do is just come with markers and paper. We're going to figure out something else that we can sandwich together. Uh, feel free to put that in the comments, too. If you have some idea of two things that we can that don't match, that we can smack them together and make something out of, shoot me a message of those, too. would love to hear all that stuff, guys. Next week, we are going to be doing a lot more drawings. I've been learning as I go with this, uh, and I really appreciate you guys sticking with me as these things start to come, come together. But we're going to be doing a drawing game at the beginning. I want to do some more drawing throughout. I want to try to do more drawing of more than just one thing per episode. So there's going to be a whole nother thing. So make sure you tell your friends. Oh, my nose itches. Tell your friends. Let them know what's going on. Parents, help me out. Share this page. Let other people know what's going on. And guys, just remember, just because we can't go outside doesn't mean you don't have the ability to sprinkle your magic on somebody else's day just by being you. Because you, 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 you are amazing. You're amazing just the way you are. You are the unicorn. And remember, the key to the happiness of your life is embracing your unicorniness. The fact that you are different is a good thing, and it's really, really awesome. You should praise that today. Go out today. Maybe take your drawing and stick it on the window for somebody or leave it on uh, the porch for somebody to pick up. If you have a delivery person, say, hey, this is for you. There are all kinds of ways that you can do a little bit of magic and sprinkle a little bit of kindness on somebody else's day. Yes, ice cream would be amazing right now, right? Going to the ice cream. A taco cat, we could totally do that. That's a good one too. I'll put that on my list. So anything like that, guys, drop them in the comments. Upload your pictures. Remember, you got to like the page, share the page, and post a picture in the comments to enter to win the weekly contest that we're doing uh, on the giveaways, all that good stuff like that. So, guys, remember, I will see you tomorrow. But in the meantime, keep drawing, keep doodling, have fun, be creative, be the weird you want to see in the world. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.